The Lewis Chessmen are a group of 12th century chess pieces, along with other gaming pieces, most of which are carved in walrus ivory. Discovered in 1831 on the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides, Scotland, they may constitute some of the few complete, surviving medieval chess sets, although it is not clear if a set as originally made can be assembled from the pieces. When found, the hoard contained 93 artifacts, 78 chess pieces, 14 tapermen and one belt buckle. Today, 82 pieces are owned and usually exhibited by the British Museum in London, and the remaining 11 are at the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. Origin The chessmen were probably made in Trondheim, Norway, in the 12th century, although some scholars have suggested other Nordic countries. During that period, the Outer Hebrides, along with other major groups of Scottish islands, were ruled by Norway. According to Dr. Alex Wolfe, director of the University of St. Andrews Institute for Medieval Studies, there are reasons for believing the pieces come from Trondheim. A broken queen piece in a similar style was found in an excavation of the Archbishop's Palace, it appeared the piece was broken as it was being made. The presence of wealthy people in Trondheim able to pay craftsmen for high-quality chess pieces. Similar carving in Nidaros Cathedral in Trondheim. The excavation in Trondheim of a kite-shaped shield similar to shields on some of the pieces and a king piece of similar design found on Hitra Island, near the mouth of Trondheim Field. Wolf has said that the armor worn by the chess figures includes perfect reproductions of armor worn at the time in Norway. Icelanders Gudmundur Thorarantsson and Einar Ianarsson have proposed that the chessmen originated in Iceland, since only in Iceland were the bishops called that at that time, while in other countries they used a name unassociated with the church. However, this is disputed by Wolf, who stated that the use of bishops originated in England, and by Norwegian chess historian and member of the Ken Wilde Association Morten Lilia Wren. Some historians believe that the Lewis chessmen were hidden after some mishap occurred during their carriage from Norway to wealthy Norse towns on the east coast of Ireland, such as Dublin. The large number of pieces and their lack of wear may suggest that they were the stock of a trader or dealer. Along with the chess pieces, there were 14 plain round tablemen for the game of tables and one belt buckle, all made of ivory, making a total of 93 artifacts. Description Almost all of the pieces in the collection are carved from walrus ivory, with a few made instead from whale teeth. The 78 pieces consist of 8 kings, 8 queens, 16 bishops, 15 knights, 12 rooks and 19 pawns. The heights of the pawns range from 3.5 to 5.8 cm, while the other pieces are between 7 and 10.2 cm. Although there are 19 pawns, they have the greatest range of sizes of all the pieces, which has suggested that the 78 pieces might belong to at least five sets. All the pieces are sculptures of human figures, with the exception of the pawns, which are smaller, geometric shapes. The knights are mounted on rather diminutive horses and are shown holding spears and shields. The rooks are standing soldiers or warders holding shields and swords. Four of the rooks are shown as wild-eyed berserkers biting their shields with battle fury. Some pieces bore traces of red stain when found, indicating that red and white were used to distinguish the two sides, rather than the black and white used in modern chess. Scholars have observed that, to the modern eye, a figural pieces, with their bulging eyes and glum expressions, have a distinct comical character. This is especially true of the single rook with a worried sideways glance and the berserkers biting their shields, which have been called irresistibly comic to a modern audience. It is believed, however, that the comic or sad expressions were not intended or perceived as such by the makers, to whom these images instead displayed strength, ferocity or, in the case of the queens who hold their heads with a hand, contemplation, repose and possibly wisdom. Modern Discovery the chessmen were discovered in early 1831 in a sandbank at the head of Carmerswick on the west coast of the Isle of Lewis, in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. There are various local stories concerning their arrival and modern discovery on Lewis. Malcolm Sport MacLeod from the nearby township of Penadinald discovered the trove in a small stone kist in a dune, exhibited them briefly in his buyer and sold them on to Captain Roderick Reary. One reported detail that it was a cow that actually unearthed the stash, is generally discounted in Wigger's fabrication. 
After the Isle of Lewis was purchased by Sir James Matheson in 1844, Malcolm MacLeod and his family were evicted and the district was transformed into sheep farms. Exhibition and Ownership They were exhibited by Riri at a meeting of the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland, on April 11, 1831. The chessmen were soon after split up, with ten being purchased by Charles Kirkpatrick Sharp and the others purchased on behalf of the British Museum in London. Kirkpatrick Sharp later found another bishop to take his collection up to eleven, all of which were later sold to Lord Londesborough. In 1888, they were again sold, but this time the purchaser was the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland, who donated the pieces to the Royal Scottish Museum in Edinburgh. The eleven are now on display in the National Museum of Scotland. Of the pieces given to the British Museum, most can be found in Room 40, with the registration numbers M and Main, 1831, 11 a Euro 1.78 to Euro 159. Others have been lent to Scottish museums and temporary exhibitions. A range of resin or plastic replicas provides popular items in the museum shops. The chessmen were number five in the list of British archaeological finds selected by experts at the British Museum for the 2003 BBC television documentary Our Top Ten Treasures, presented by Adam Hart Davis. They feature in the 2010 BBC Radio 4 series A History of the World in 100 Objects as number 61, in the status symbols section. An exhibition entitled The Lewis Chessman, Unmasked which includes chess pieces from both the National Museum of Scotland and British Museum collections, along with other relevant objects, toured Scotland in 2010 Euro 2011. The exhibition opened in Edinburgh on May 21, 2010 and proceeded to Aberdeen, Shetland, and the Museum Namir Leon in Stornoway, opening there on April 15, 2011. An exhibition entitled The Game of Kings, Medieval ivory chessmen from the Isle of Lewis at the Cloisters in New York City included 34 of the chess pieces, all on loan from the British Museum. The exhibit ended April 22, 2012. On 3 April 2013, a £1.8 million from the European Regional Development Fund was granted to transform Lewes Castle, on the Isle of Lewis, into a museum for the Western Isles. Around a £14 million in total is to be spent on restoring and converting the property, which has been shut for almost 25 years. When completed the permanent displays will include six of the Lewis chessmen. Dispute over location In 2007 a Euro 2008 a dispute arose regarding the most appropriate place to display the pieces. The issue first arose late in 2007 with calls from Scottish National Party politicians in the Western Isles for the return of the pieces to the place they were found. Linda Fabiani, the Scottish Minister for Europe, External Affairs and Culture, stated that it is unacceptable that only 11 Lewis chessmen rest at the National Museum of Scotland while the other 67 remain in the British Museum in London. Richard Aram Professor of Medieval and Environmental History at the University of Stirling, agreed, arguing that there was no reason for there to be more than a sample of the collection in London. Both points of view have been dismissed by Margaret Hodge, the UK Minister of State in the Department for Culture, Media and Sport, writing it's a lot of nonsense, isn't it? The local historical society in Wig, Combe and each trade Wig, which operates a registered museum near the find site featuring detailed information about the chessmen in Norse occupation in Lewis, has indicated publicly that it has no intention of pursuing any claim to the ownership of the pieces and does not support demands for them to be sent to Edinburgh, but would welcome short-term loans. In October 2009, 24 of the pieces from London and 6 from Edinburgh began a 16-month tour of various locations in Scotland. The tour was partly funded by the Scottish Government, and Mike Russell, the Minister for Culture and External Affairs, stated that the Government and the British Museum had agreed to disagree on their eventual fate. Bonnie Greer, the Museum's Deputy Chairman, said that she absolutely believed the main collection should remain in London. Notes References Murray, H. J. R. A. History of Chess Oxford University Press Robinson, James the Lewis Chessman, British Museum Press, Stratford, N. The Lewis Chessman and the Enigma of the Horde. The British Museum Press.
Taylor, Michael. The Lewis Chessman. British Museum Publications Limited. External links, National Museums Scotland's pages on the Chessman, A History of the World in 100 Objects, Number 61, The Lewis Chessman, The Isle of Lewis Chessman website.